Hello everyone, my name is Nadeem Khan. Welcome to Uncommon Literature. Today we are going to learn The Emperor of Ice Cream by Wallace Stevens. In this poem, the poem is little complex, however it has only two stanzas. In the first stanza, we have one, uh, basically there is a master who is unknown. We don't know who the master is. The identity of the master is not revealed to us. But we know that there is a person and he is, uh, he or she is giving some commands to people. So what happens in the first stanza, the master gives orders to call the muscular man to whip the ice cream for the people who have gathered for the funeral of a lady. Okay, so this is the uh, whole scenario. In the first stanza, we have these commands of calling the muscular man. In the second stanza, we will go to the room where the corpse of the lady is waiting to be covered. Let us start the poem now. In the first stanza, it reads, Call the roller of big cigars. So the command starts from the very first line to call the roller, the person who rolls the big cigars. He is the muscular one, like he is uh, the person, the speaker is calling the muscular one and bid him, bid means command him to whip the ice cream in the kitchen. So let's see what the line says and bid him whip in kitchen cups concupiscent curds. So here by this word concupiscent, he, uh, the speaker means the desirous, the passionate one. Conspicuous curd means ice cream that the master is commanding the muscular person to whip the ice cream for the people. Next line, let the wenches, wenches means girls and dawdle means roam aimlessly wasting their time. So let the wenches dawdle in such dress as they used to wear. So basically what they, the speaker wants to say that let the girls roam in their everyday clothes. Okay and let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspaper and the speaker continues and the you know allow the boys to bring the flowers in the last month's newspaper as they already do so basically in the first stanza we see that whatever the uh, activities whatever the actions are going on they are of the routine work nothing uh, special is happening so by this you can just understand the theme of the poem that theme of the poem is that considering death as the part of life death is not something special death is not an uh, incident which is different everybody has to face death so they are celebrating the death Okay, so last two line of this stanza is let B be finale of seam. This line is really important. It means that you know let uh, do not assume anything and let us just face what the reality is. So obviously reality is that death is uh, eminent. Death has to uh, come one day or the other. So let us just not assume that we are afraid of death and all, you know, we do not want to die. So everybody will die one day. So let us just accept this point. The last line of both the stanzas are same. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. So this line means that the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream means that we have to enjoy our life while we are alive. We don't know when we can die. The, we are our own emperor of our own life. So here ice cream is uh, used as a symbol for the life. So we have to become the master of our own life. Okay. So let us move to the next stanza. In the next stanza we have the room where the corpse of the lady is lying. Take from, the command begins, take from the dresser of deal. So dresser of the deal means that there is some wooden dresser cupboard and the uh, speaker is commanding again to take some sheet from that cupboard. Lacking the three glass knobs so that uh, cupboard does not have glass knobs. So that sheet, now uh, the speaker is commanding, I am asking that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once. 
फैन टेल्स इज अ काइंड ऑफ बर्ड्स देयर टेल्स आर लाइक फैन दैट इज वाई दे आर कॉल्ड फैन टेल्स सो इट इज बींग सजेस्टेड दैट द मास्टर इज कॉलिंग द सेम बेड शीट और सेम शीट विच द लेडी वो इज डेड नाउ शी एम्ब्रॉयडेड बर्ड्स ऑन दिस बेड शीट एंड स्प्रेड इड एज टू कवर हर फेस एंड द कमांड कंटिन्यूज दैट ब्रिंग दैट शीट एंड स्प्रेड ओवर इट टू जस्ट कवर हर फेस इफ हर हॉर्नी फीट प्रोट्रूव इट मीन्स इफ द फीट ऑफ द लेडी कम आउट ऑफ द शीट इफ द शीट फॉल्स शॉर्ट फ्रॉम द यू नो ओवर द लेडी हॉर्नी मीन्स लाइक हॉर्न्स so when the uh, legs of when the feet of the lady protrude from the sheet they appear like horns so they come to show how cold she is and dumb so basically if uh, they the speaker is suggesting that if the feet of the lady protrude from the sheet it means that how cold she is and dumb cold means that she is lifeless there is nothing in her anymore moving ahead the last two lines of this stanza let the lamp affix its beam so again the command continues and let the lamp the lamp is you know uh, lightening and it is ray, uh, showing emanating emitting its rays so it is being suggested that let the lamp affix its beam and the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream so it is again suggested it is repeated twice that the emperor of uh, the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream so we are the own master of our own life so we have to see some important points of this uh, poem is that the people here instead of mourning else are celebrating her death by distributing ice cream so this is one point next point you can uh, mention that body is not wrapped in new clothes rather it is being wrapped into an old or used sheet to cover her okay so by this we have to notice that speaker emphasizes the reality of death while comparing it with ice cream and conveys the message that one should be ruler of his own life before it melts away so you just you just can understand that how ice cream uh, is used as a symbol for the life that before life melts away just enjoy it to the fullest so with this we have come to the end of this poem if you have any doubt you can write me in the comment section thank you so much